Hi guys, hi Frank. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to flash your auto with DDWRT and how to set it up in repeat mode. The router that we're going to use is a TP-Link 740N router version 4. That's very important because there are a few versions and uh, if you don't flash it with the right one then you can break your router. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is to go to the DDWRT website router database it's enough if we just put 740N so we we choose version 4 over here and uh, we choose factory to twrt.bin I'm going to save it here on the desktop alright it's downloading just a few seconds Okay, once it's ready then here is it. Once it's ready we can connect to the router. You can do that with cable, you can do it wirelessly, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to do it via wireless after we go one nine two one six eight. Zero one by default for TP Link System Tools Firmware Upgrade. We need to find that bin file. Here we go. Oops. All right, we go upgrade. Now we wait 2-3 minutes until it's ready. Okay, it's ready now. So we need to connect to the router again. Now it's under a new name, DDWRT. We just go connect. Sorry. By default, 192.168.11 for DWT. We need to set up user and password. Okay. So the first thing that we need to change is in setup, basic setup, connection type, we go automatic. We just go save <coughs> status wireless site survey join you just join to the network that you want to repeat of course it redirects you to the wireless page here in wireless mode we can put client bridge or client client bridge will repeat the same network uh, with the same SSID and the same password if we set it up as client then we can just go save first and we can add a virtual interface under different name so here by default is DWRT I'm gonna leave it just like that you can change it if you like just go save again then we go wireless security 
security mode for my connection is WP personal I'll advise you to put the same security encryption for the virtual interface um, WP personal unmask unmask password we can put the same password here for the virtual interface it can be different but it's not necessary okay save let's go back here just to check wireless mode client virtual interface wireless mode ap we just go apply settings and it will take some seconds for the router to restart again and to apply the changes okay let's see now okay job done we are connected then we have internet access just uh, let's go back to the router to show you something we go status wireless and you can see here that you're connected to your network and also the virtual inter interface is working Alright guys, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.